So today, we're going to talk about drugs. No, not the recreational kind, the medical kind. Travel is full of fun adventures, but those adventures sometimes lead to bumps, scratches, bruises, cuts, scrapes, burns, or just simply headaches. That's where a first aid kit comes in handy. So I'm gonna be telling you guys what I put in my travel first aid kit to help you pack your travel first aid kit because it's so important to carry a first aid kit with you. Trust me, if you haven't already experienced the need for a first aid kit when you're traveling, you will somewhere down the road and you'll be very happy that you have one. All right, let's get started. So this is my bag that I carry in my travel first aid kit. It says it's a London Drugs first aid kit bag, but I just use the bag for my first aid kit. It actually, this isn't the kit that it came with. I've refilled this to my own liking uh, since then. But you can buy like kits in drugstores that kind of have this basics, some of the basics, but when you are traveling, you're gonna need much more than the basics. After bite, pretty important for mosquitoes because they're kind of really annoying and we don't like them. Polysporin, this is a anti, it's basically, it's an antibiotic cream that you can put on wounds, cuts, etc. Blister pads, these are absorbent cushions meant for blisters. Very handy if you get a blister because those are painful and can be very detrimental to your walking abilities. This is rubbing alcohol. So this is rubbing alcohol and around this um, spray container, I have medical tape so you can like wrap up bandages for bigger bandages. Pills, okay, so anti-diarrheals. Anti-diarrheals, <laughs> diarrhea relief. Because if you have diarrhea, normally you should let it just kind of go she let it go out and do its thing but sometimes you want to stop it like if you are in transit cold effects uh, these are some cold medications because if you are traveling for about two I, I usually find that between the two to three week mark of traveling you sometimes get sick most of the time you get sick some sort of cold on that note we have some strep soles these are just some sore throat candies again all the stuff that I'm packing I'm packing little bits of it not huge amounts of it because if I do get sick, I can go to the pharmacy. This is just to tie, tie me over until I can find a pharmacy. So these are little containers that I found at a drugstore. They're just little packing containers that I put my pills in. I've got some Tylenols. So I got some Tylenols. I have some, which are for headaches. I have some Benadryls, which are, I'm not allergic to anything, but I'm traveling to places around the world that I don't know. So, you know, I don't know. I could be allergic to something that I don't even know exists yet. These are just good to have around. So we got the diarrheals. So we have stuff that'll make you stop going to the washroom. I also have stuff that will make you go to the washroom. So sometimes you just, you, you might get, you know, constipated when you are traveling. It happens, you're eating weird food. Um, having some pills. So these are Sienna tablets that just kind of, you know, help the stuff go down and along are very handy. I also have some um, enzymes in here. This helps with digestion. So if you're having, um, so if your stomach's kind of having some issues digesting, these are, um, they're like Beano's. You can buy them Beano's. They just kind of help you digest certain foods. Then I've got some iron pills. Iron pills are like the holy grail of energy. If you're ever low on energy, pop one of the iron pills in and boom, next day you're like a freaking energizer bunny. I don't, I don't use them regularly. I just kind of use them if I'm feeling really tired. Then we have this huge container of Advil. Advils are like the go-to medicine for everything or ibuprofens in your country. They might just be called ibuprofens or that's like the generic drug name for them. These are great for headaches sore feet, sore body from hiking, camping, sunburns. Oh my gosh, if you get a sunburn, pop a couple Advils in because a sunburn, all it is is an inflammation of your skin. So Advils are great for reducing inflammation of your skin. There are a lot of uses for Advils. I like to carry a good good selection with me. Um, I also have just like a mini flashlight in my first aid kit. Oral electrolytes. So you are suffering from diarrhea, and or vomiting, and you're doing that for a couple days or more, you are gonna be losing your fluids. You're gonna be losing your electrolytes. This is basically just helps restore your body's salts and sugars. Or if you are just sweating, or if you have a sunstroke, oral electrolytes. Mole skin, um, going along with the blister packages, I carry a little thing of mole skin. This just kind of helps rubbing. So if you have any places on your foot that are rubbing, um, a little sewing kit 
So it's got some needles, it's got some threads to fix anything that needs to be fixed if I need mending. Alcohol swabs, these are for cleaning wounds, cleaning cuts, iodine ointments. These are like heavy duty wound cleaning solutions. So if you need something to heavy duty clean, you use the iodine. Polysporin's antiseptic that I use for just general cuts. Iodine is if it's a heavy duty cut. I carry a lot of band-aids because I go through these like candy. Seriously, I get a lot of mini cuts on my hands. I don't know, I'm just, it just happens. I go through these like candy. Gaviscons, or these are calcium carbonate tablets. They're basically um, anti, they're like anti-acids. A lot of times you are gonna be eating food that doesn't necessarily agree with you and you might get a really upset stomach. That's where these come in handy. They are Gaviscons. Um, you can get Tums, it's the same thing. to just kind of help with heartburn, acid reflux, just that like burning stomach feeling you get if you eat something that doesn't really agree with you or it's spicy because there's a lot of spice around the world, so. Lactates, now this is specific to me because I'm lactose intolerant, so I carry some lactates around. Tegraderm, I think that's how we say it, Tegraderm. These are like crazy, sticking, clear, go through everything band-aids. I learned about these when I had a huge burn on my foot, or on my leg, sorry. Um, they stick like there is no tomorrow. You can keep these on for like a week and they won't come off. If you like you're hiking or if you're if you're doing a lot of activities, these are like crazy good. Carry one of these, which is a waterproof band-aid. <laughs> kind of peeling off the packaging, but it's a waterproof band-aid. Again, if you are in tropical climates, having waterproof band-aids. Uh, three different size gauze pads. These are for wounds that are bigger than a band-aid size, and that's where this Medical tape will come in because I use the medical tape to strap the, the gauze pads onto any kind of cuts that I have. Second skin, so this is a burn pad. Now this is super, super important because once you are burned once, which happens quite often than not, especially when motorcycles are involved, having a burn pad is a lifesaver. So this is kind of like, it's like a moist thing you put right on your burn that helps cool it down when you get burnt. Malaria tablets are something that you would specifically use if you are going on certain trips into certain areas. It's not necessarily for all trips. The what you use to prevent malaria is the same thing you use to treat malaria. So if you get malaria, I've got pills. Emergency survival blanket. This is like thermal material developed from insulation used in space exploration. So it reflects back 90% of body heat meant to keep you warm. So there we go, there we have it. That is everything that I put in my first aid kit. Um, and I hope that it's helped you. If there's anything that you put in your first aid kit or anything that you think I'm missing, let me know down below in the comments. I'm very interested to see that. And yeah, maybe not the most exciting video, but safety is important, health is important. Having you know, the requirements to kind of get you by until you can find a proper pharmacy is super, super important when you're traveling. So, yay, there we go. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more travel tips and advice, etc. Okay, bye.